So we have a new product called SOLIDWORKS MBD. MBD stands for Model Based Definition and it is a product that you have to purchase separately. Now if we have a look at it in action, so SOLIDWORKS MBD is aimed at uh, companies that want to have a drawingless manufacturing solution. So to get away from creating uh, 2D drawings completely. So in order to do that you put all the manufacturing information within the model. So if we look at SOLIDWORKS as it is at the moment, uh, MBD is switched on, we have a toolbar here with all our commands on, and we also get this 3D views tab down the bottom. And if we just cycle through the 3D views that we've already created, you can see that within the 3D views they've got all the manufacturing information uh, available for you to read in a nice uh, set out way. Get, get in the way from the need to, to produce your um, your drawings. So um, we're going to go ahead and create a, a brand new view here. So I'll just switch to a front view. And we'll just capture our 3D view. So when we create our 3D view, we give it a name. Um, we can reference whatever configuration of the model we like. So uh, in that respect, you could build up uh, manufacturing processes step at a time. Uh, and you can reference whatever dis display state of the model you want as well. Um, we'll just go ahead and select um, the annotation views we want to use. And then from there, uh, what I can see is some of the annotations on my screen. Now I want to move these two to a front view, so we'll just simply click on them, right click, and then choose a new annotation view. Like so, we'll just drag it out so it looks a bit nicer. We can add our own dimensions uh, and tolerances and everything else to this using our toolbar up the top. So we're going to go for a size dimension in this case. Um, I'm just going to create a dimension for that section there. Drag that out. And then to complete the view, all I'm going to do is just add a, a geometric tolerance on. So we'll add our geometric tolerance. We want it to be perpendicular about datum C and 0.5. Okay, so when we've done that, we just drop it on our model where we want it and place it down like so. Okay, so that is uh, our front view uh, created. And I'll just recapture that so it's got all the information inside. Okay, so that's looking pretty good now. Um, next thing I want to do is output this to someone so they can, uh, they can read all the views. So we've got... Uh, specific file types that we use to do this, industry standard file formats. Uh, so we can use eDrawings or probably more useful is a 3D PDF. So um, first off we'll look at the, the template editor. So I'll just open up the template editor here and then we'll open up a document. So let's open up our template. In the top left hand corner, uh, we have a, a company logo. So that could be any image that you wanted to. It could be your company logo. Um, we have our main view in the uh, center of the screen there. We have these thumbnails of all the views that we're gonna save out. We have a standard notes section. And then here we have sort of similar, I guess, to your, your drawing borders. We have notes linked to custom properties of the part. So if I click on this note here, for instance, it is referencing the custom property part number. If I click on this one here, it's referencing the custom property drawn by. So that's how the template's set up and it can be customized to, to suit. Okay, now let's output using that um, template. So we go to publish to 3D PDF, we pick our template from the list here, uh, we pick our views that we want to include. So we'll do a, a host of views here. We'll choose what our file name is, I'll just leave that as default. Uh, we've got a custom text section so I can enter in manually um, a description for the file. And I can view and perhaps adjust all my custom properties that are exporting out with it. Now when I've done that, I just hit the green tick, say yes to that. And if we just give it a second, what, what it's doing is it's just collecting all the information from those views before outputting it. 
So the, like I say, this just does take a, a couple of seconds to, to run through. Okay, so there's the document created. Uh, and as you can see, we've got all our various views down the bottom. We've got our main view here, and we can rotate and while around, we can zoom in and out. Um, we've got all our custom properties reference. So the user can cycle through the various views here uh, to see what we've exported out um, to manufacture the part. You'll also find that with this, just to make things a little bit clearer, if you do pick on a dimension, it will actually highlight where the dimension is taken from and to. So we'll just close that down and look at something else. We can also output to eDrawings. So when we do this, as you would imagine, um, it's a similar sort of deal. We get a 3D views tab down the bottom where we can cycle through our various views to see our manufacturing data. If we switch to another part now, we'll have a look at another occurrence where they've used uh, MBD. We've got our 3D views tab down the bottom here. And if I just cycle through these 3D views, you see within them they've captured the various uh, manufacturing information within them. Um, now, when you've got long and slender parts, um, it can be difficult to capture all the information that you want and make it legible. So in a drawing, what you would typically do is perhaps add a break view to control that. Um, with MBD, we have something called model break view, which works in a similar way. Uh, what we do is we turn it on, uh, we choose the direction that we want to uh, break our model in. We then have planes that we use to break the model, and then we just uh, apply the break like so. So I'm going to add a couple more steps here just to complete that. And that's looking quite good. We also have options here to determine how the brakes look. So if we turn on a sort of more traditional tube uh, cut method, you can see that looks quite nice. We also have zigzags and various other ways of, of displaying the cut. So once we're happy with how it looks, we can just see in the, uh, the configuration manager, it creates a model brake view as a configuration, and we can uh, just recapture our view, and now it's a bit easier for the user to view in that state. Okay, uh, if we just go back to the PowerPoint. Um, so SolidWorks uh, model-based definition, uh, quick and easy 3D product manufacturing. Uh, we can organize designs and using 3D views um, where we can add multiple breaks as well. We have a, a library of output templates that you can customize and we can output to 3D PDF or to eDrawings. We'll now move to Ed.